With the Oscar nominations announced a couple weeks ago, I gotta say there have been some movies that are given, like The Fablemans, Everything Everywhere, Banshees, and so forth. But there are a couple movies that I don't understand why I even got nominated for a top award. Like, Avatar The Way of Water, why is that even nominated? Sure, the effects are outstanding, and it's got some of the best action scenes I've seen in a long time. But the story is yet another environmental slot fest you've seen a dozen times before. Dances with Wolves, Princess Monoke, Fun Gully, even the first Avatar. Why is it that the Bay Formers get a lot of fly for doing the same thing over and over again, yet this one gets a pass? And also, Women Talking and Triangle of Sadness, why are those movies nominated? I saw both movies and I was just bored and uninterested by them, and even grossed stale in Triangle's case. There are plenty of movies I easily pick over them, like The Batman, like The Whale, Nope, The Menu. So that got me thinking. What are some other movies that I don't understand the best picture nominations? Now I'm only going to talk about the movies from the 2010s and onward because A. It would take too long and B. I haven't seen every movie out there. So in 2009, the Oscars started nominating 10 films for best picture and have done so for two years. But in 2011, they inexplicably went down to 9 films, which I wouldn't mind, except there's a couple films that shouldn't have been in the running. Like, you'd expect me to think that The Help is one of the 9 greatest movies of that year? Sure, give some of the actors nods, like Atiyah Spencer and Viola Davis, but this was just another 60s civil rights movie, plus it was just too long at 2.5 hours. I can think of better and more challenging films to put in this place, like Shame, like Drive, like Dragon Tattoo. But no, they'll nominate something like The Tree of Light because of some pretty visuals, even even if the story's all over the place. But at least those movies got good reviews, unlike extremely loud and incredibly self-indulgent. Why was that even nominated? Not only did this get mixed reviews in the mailing box office, not only did it get Jack squat at the Golden Globes and BAFTAs, but I saw it and I flat out despised it. It exploits 9-11 in the worst way, all the actors speak gibberish at Lily Lalkin spew out, Max von Zito got snuffed for the seventh seal in The Exorcist, but can apparently get nominated for walking around and showing up his cue cards. And I especially wanted to strangle that main kid, that's how much of an asshole he is. And nothing against a kid actor, I'm talking about his character. And they expect me to feel sorry for him? Screw off, movie. Next I want to talk about Les Miserables, which is a pure definition of a mixed bag. For every few great moments, there's a ton of scenes that could've been cut out. For every great performance from Hugh Jackman or Anne Hathaway, there's Russell Crowe singing like Howard the Duck trying to sing opera. But let's just all agree that the worst thing about this movie is Tom Hooper trying and failing at recapturing his success. And then there are those biopics that range from a generic Army Man movie, to turning Freddie Mercury's life into some Disney Channel drama, to portraying Dick Cheney as worse than the devil or something, to a decent but overlong tennis drama that people only remember for... <laughs> that. But I'm sorry, how is Selma worth all the acclaim? Sure, there's some good performances, Steve O'Rell especially. In fact, if he was in a better movie, he probably would have gotten nominated. But my problem is, it doesn't really tell us about Martin Luther King or the Selma movement outside of anything you find on Wikipedia. And the direction is kind of obnoxious at times. Like that slow motion explosion in the stairs? That looked like something Michael Bay would come up with. And tell me, really tell me, what the hell was driving my car? No, seriously, what the hell was Dry My Car? I just saw it the other day, and I couldn't tell you the plot if you had a gun to my head. All it was is a bunch of talking scenes and driving that go on forever, and go nowhere for three hours straight. And how this director got nominated over Denise Bess's Dune is beyond me. But that movie is a masterpiece and a half compared to the last inexplicable Best Picture nominee known as Don't Look Up. As you all probably know from me, this movie is just... the worst. Long story short, this movie tried to be the next wacky political comedy, but its message is beyond Hamilton and the jokes... What jokes? It's just a bunch of people and politics are so selfish that they will lead to humanity's extinction stuff. The editing and soundtrack are all over the place, the acting's just terrible, Leonardo DiCaprio in this movie is... You know what, if you want to know everything, go to that one podcast I did. So yeah, those are some of the movies that I don't think deserve all the Oscar love they did. At least they're not the Going Globes, but that's not really saying much.